Islam asserts the rights of women. Such is the position given to women that in its holy book, the Holy Quran, a whole chapter is named Surah Nisa or the women. The Holy Quran asserts that men and women have equal dignity. A woman is a completely independent personality. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, upheld the cause of women, especially widows. Despite the risks involved, Imam Hussein took his whole family, including his wives, children, sisters and relatives on the way towards Karbala, Iraq, where he was forcibly surrounded by the evil forces of Yazid and pressurized again to give in to the demands to which Imam Hussein firmly refused. He took his family along because Imam Hussein knew that the noble women of his household or Ahlul Bayt would play a very important role after the tragedy of Karbala, especially his sister Bibi Zainab. He took his family along because Imam Hussein knew that the noble women of his household, Ahlul Bayt, would play a very important role after the tragedy of Karbala, especially his sister Bibi Zainab, whom he assigned the task of taking care of women and children after his martyrdom. It is worth mentioning the fact that both men and women of the Prophet's household played a significant role in this battle, wherein men displayed their physical strength while women stood behind each one of them in supporting their leader Imam Hussein. They were mothers, daughters, nieces and relatives and each one of them displayed tremendous strength of character that history has mentioned them in golden words. These noble ladies saw their men, brothers, nephews, children and relations brutally murdered right before their very eyes. Harassed without food and water, their tents burned and terrorized by the three lakh plus forces of the evil army of Yazid. Although they lost their protectors and hope, yet they kept their values and dignity intact. These noble ladies sacrificed all that they had in terms of worldly possessions to upkeep the truth and to surrender themselves to the will of God. The brave ladies of Imam Hussein's camp showed to the world that a woman's role is not only defined within the four walls of a house. If need arises, she can bring about necessary revolution in the society for its betterment like Bibi Zainab, who became an instrument to unmask the evil face of the enemy and speak the truth. The noble ladies, Ahlul Bayt, role was exemplary as it showed how bold and educated Muslim women were 14 centuries ago and how they consolidated the rightful Islamic teachings with the sacrifice and conduct. In the study of Karbala, we come across many magnanimous women who rose to support truth with perfect sincerity in spite of being oppressed and tortured. Their names and their contributions have found mention in history and will remain as long as humanity is alive. I consider myself as a very small entity amongst the mountain of strength, the noble and brave ladies of Prophet Muhammad's household portrayed before us in the wake of the tragedy of Karbala. I dedicate my writing and it is my humble tribute to their strength, endurance and patience in the face of terrorism and tyranny displayed in its worst form the humanity has ever seen. Karbala jab bhi yaad aayegi, insaniyat sharmaayegi. Whenever the saga of Karbala is remembered, humanity would bow its head in shame. My sincere tributes to Bibi Umme Kulsum, the sister of Bibi Zainab and Imam Hussain, Bibi Fizza, 
بی بی ام البنین مادر آف حضرت عباس بی بی زینب مادر آف حضرت علی ازغر اینڈ بی بی سکینہ دا بریو لیڈیز آف بنی اسد ٹرائب who were instructed by Imam Hussain to bury the bodies of martyrs of Karbala. He purchased the land from them and gave it back to them again. And to all those sincere and brave ladies and children who lost their purpose and lives for the will of God, we will not let humanity forget your names.